wild story. Mom. Thank you, Chip. Well, this isn't wild. It's just a huge bummer. Thousands of pounds of fresh mm -hmm. food. It's all got to be thrown out because of smoke. Yeah, Milwaukee police now want your help finding two men seen near the El Rey grocery store just before it went up in flames. Our Ben Handelman at the store at 51st in Oklahoma, where big cleanups underway now, Ben. Yeah, good evening, guys, and what a sad sight here. Take a look. Workers right now, they are checking out food. They are putting them into shopping carts and garbage cans, and then they're taking it right here outside, and they are putting it right in the dumpster. At the same time, Milwaukee police are searching for two people of interest. Just before 11 o'clock Thursday night, surveillance cameras are rolling as two men peek into the El Rey grocery store at 51st in Oklahoma. The store manager says for 15 minutes, these two canvassed the store before the camera picks them up, pushing over plastic containers and taking off. Minutes later, smoke is pouring from the side of the building. The fire takes out the cart storage area. I'm disappointed uh, that somebody would uh, do this to us. Um, I feel like, um, you know, uh, this neighborhood has accepted us well. But store manager Nelson Lang says the real damage is on the inside. The problem is, is the smoke that it created uh, infiltrated our HVAC system and a lot of smoke was uh, in, inside the store. A restoration expert says all of these canned goods will have to be individually washed and the rest of the product will all be tossed. Friday, workers spent the day taking inventory and tossing food. Everything from the meat to the produce is ruined. Are they open? No, they're closed. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, it's a little, little shock right now. Uh, to, you know, to see this. A steady stream of customers pass by in cars only to see the sign on the front of the store. I'm really sad. <laughs> like I said, it's only been open about a year or so, and it's, it's a nice store. We're going to work hard to get open again. Lang says his employees will work around the clock and is hopeful someone will recognize these two faces. We're not going to let this uh, set us back. Now, just to be clear, fire investigators have not yet officially ruled this in arson. On the tape, you can't actually see the two men light the fire, but they definitely want to talk to those two individuals. As for the damage, I just spoke with the store owner. He says just in merchandise alone that's being tossed out, it's worth over $300,000. We're live at 51st in Oklahoma tonight. Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. Well, that's a shame, Ben. Thank you very much.